Mrs. Wheeler. Um, can Mr. Carrington leave? Yes. I didn't get to say goodbye. What's wrong? Nothing. I know that look. It usually means trouble. Vicki, I just have a lot on my mind. Did Mr. Carrington say something that upset you, Mrs. Wheeler? He looked awful serious today. Mr. Carrington is always very serious. Are you worried about Ashley Linden? She is in a terrible state yesterday. Oh, I talked to Ashley this morning. She seems to be much better today. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Vicki, where, where are those papers that Dennis has to sign? Grant left them here someplace. They're in the desk. Spread out. Mm. Mm. This. Mm. Do you want me to take that to the post office when I do the shopping? Uh, no, thank you, Vivian. I think I'll ask Dennis to stop by here and sign it. I didn't think you and Dennis were on such friendly terms these days. It appears that Dennis isn't on very friendly terms with anyone these days. Dennis Carrington, please. Hello, sweetheart. Honey, um, Grant has a, a paper here he wants you to sign concerning Alex's estate. I was wondering if you could stop by sometime this morning. No, I promise I won't mention Ryan Connor's name to you. Yes, that will be fine. Thank you. How have you been, Vivian? Oh, I've been just great. How have you been? How's everything at the TV station? Uh, routine. Oh, I don't believe that. Everybody knows TV is exciting and glamorous. Oh, you think so? Well, I'll take you down to the station some afternoon, and you'll quickly find out how boring it can be. No, thank you. I'd rather <laughs> keep on thinking it was exciting well, and glamorous. Hello, darling. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, what kind of papers do you want me to sign? Oh, it concerns Alex's estate. Can I fix a treat? Uh, not for me. I've got to get back to work soon. Did Grant explain this to you? Yes. If you want to take it with you and study it, please do. Maybe I'll do that. Well, darling, Grant owned a bank in Boston. Surely he knows what he's doing. Oh, I trust Grant. Are you saying that you don't trust me? Just being cautious. Perhaps you'd better talk to Grant. Uh, no, that won't be necessary. How do you feel? Fine. How do you feel? Concerned. And what are you concerned about, Mom? Elliot came to see me this morning. <laughs> I should have realized you had an ulterior motive. The paper had to here. be signed. Well, it's signed. Now I've got to get going. Dennis, please take her a few Not minutes. Not if you're going to give to me, me lectures on getting a shrink. Oh, I won't do that. I don't think you need a psychiatrist. That's funny. I was sure Dad convinced you that I was crazy. Elliot doesn't think you're crazy. Well, that's not the impression I got the other night. He told me that you believe Paige is trying to turn him against you. She is. She can't have me, so she's going after him. And I'm not going to let her ruin his life the way she ruined mine. Darling. Elliot assures me that he and Paige are simply friends. Well, you know how Paige operates. Yes, but Elliot happens to be a sophisticated, oh, intelligent come on. woman. Oh, She did a number on him. First she got him to feel sorry for her, and then she played the helpless role. But I don't imagine Elliot will be fooled by that for very well, long. Well, if someone doesn't stop her soon, she then she's... told me about your behavior, Dennis. It's appalling. Hey, now, don't tell me you're taking Paige's side. That's very unlike you. Why are you doing this to her? Because I'm trying to protect Dad. Elliot is capable of protecting himself. He doesn't seem to be. I mean, he doesn't even think that Paige's past is anything to worry about. Her past is of no further concern to this family now that you are divorcing her. Oh, you're not still in love with her, are you? Come on, Mom, you know better than that. She tricked me into marrying her. 
I mean, she's the reason I went to prison. Dennis, that's over. It may be over for me, but it's not over for Dad, and she's going to do the same thing to him. Oh, Elliot, we'll never let that happen. He went to lunch with her, and he went to dinner with her. She's manipulating him, Mom. I, I think he just feels sorry oh, for her. Oh, yes, yeah, she saw to that all right. I bet the tears kept flowing nonstop. She's very clever, you know. I think you know that better than anyone, don't you? You used to be an expert on Paige Marshall. Why don't you tell Dad what she's really like? Dennis, Elliot's private life is his own affair. It's not something I'm free to interfere with. No, that in. didn't matter when I was involved with her. Didn't stop you from helping me out or protecting me. You are my son. I'm Dad's son, too. And if you refuse to help him, then I guess I'm just going to have to do it. Dennis! How many people are going to be here for dinner? Oh, I have no idea. Justin and Ashley are coming over for cocktails, but I don't know whether they have plans for dinner or not. I suppose Grant will be here, but I haven't seen Lacey all day. I don't Why know where don't she is. I fix hot dogs, and then it won't make any difference if anybody wants to eat anything here or not. Oh, Mrs. Wheeler, I'm... Oh, what is the matter with you? Mr. Carrington called before, and I forgot to tell you that. He said he was returning your call, and I never mentioned it's that to you when you came in. I I'm sorry about that. I'll call him now. If there's anything that you want me to do for you, I'll be in the kitchen. Try to calm down, will you? <sighs> Hello, Elliot. Oh, hello, Iris. I'm sorry I missed your call earlier. I just wanted to tell you that I talked to Dennis. Iris, what was the outcome? Well, you can stop worrying about him. I think he's just been overreacting. Iris, it's more than that. We had a very long talk, and I'm confident that everything is fine now. Iris, there is no way that Dennis is fine, as you put it. He's been through a very traumatic experience. You, you can't expect him to escape totally unaffected by it. No, but... Do your best to just reassure him that you love him and that nothing will ever change that, and I'll do the same. Well, I'll certainly do my best. Good. I can't talk anymore now, Ellie. Hello, darling. Hi. I hope that I'm not too late. Coming to work. No, no, you're not. And you look much better than you did yesterday. Oh, <laughs> Where's Dustin? Oh, I don't know. He said he had a meeting, and he wasn't there, and I just left without him. Oh? Two days ago, you would have been certain he was at Rena's. Not anymore. Thanks to you. 